Hello, welcome to the Rich and Simple Living. I'm Maria. If you're new here, I do videos and vlogs about um, homeschooling, homesteading, home life, that sort of thing. So I suppose today's vlog's a bit sort of um, my home life really, because I'm going to attempt another go in the air fryer. And today what I'm going to attempt to do is rice pudding. Now, I was a bit unsure about doing a rice pudding um, because I haven't got bake. The only recipes I've seen, people say put your air fryer on bake. Well, I haven't got a bake mode on my air fryer. But I was thinking, well, you put it in the oven, you switch the oven on and the heat just goes around the oven and cooks your puddings or whatever's in there. And so it's the same for this really, because if it's on the air fryer, it's just heat that circulates around. So I'm thinking, well, what's the difference between putting it in the oven and putting it in there? you know, on air fry. So I'm thinking, oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a whirl and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing rather than look at me. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've already greased a pint Pyrex dish. So I just greased it with some butter and I've weighed out my rice so I've got two ounces of rice that short grain rice pudding rice so I'm just going to tip it into there and get rid of that try and tidy up as we go because I've got such a small space in my kitchen so next it's two tablespoons of sugar so we'll measure that so I'm trying to get it so that you can see so one two we'll pop that away give us a bit of space so i'll just mix that around a bit i mean it's quite simple to make rice pudding my daughter sean she sometimes does them under supervision though because she's a bit nervous of the cooker when i done it in the cooker before but i'm thinking maybe with um the air fryer if this works out well she might be able to do them in there and be okay with it so then we put a pint of milk in well this just takes exactly a pint and this is when it gets difficult after that because i've got to try and get it into the air fryer without uh, spilling it and you can see how runny it all is so i'll just give it a stir around now at this point you can put um, a little blob of butter on top but I don't because I've greased it with butter and you can see now I'm stirring it there's bits of butter floating around I don't see the need to put any more butter on top and also you could put nutmeg on now I'll probably put some halfway through cooking because I'll take it out halfway through cooking and um, perhaps put a bit on then we're optional with that one I mean sometimes we don't bother with the nutmeg and other times we do so we'll just make sure that's stirred so the rice and the sugar's all sort of evenly proportioned in there all right we'll pop that out of the way now what i'm going to have to do is just sort of move it aside for a minute because this is where it gets a bit tricky and I'm going to pop that there, see if I can bring you up slightly now, so you can see a little bit more. I'm going to put this in here, sort of corner to corner. This is a hard bit, putting it in and not dropping it. I've got a bit awkward really. I probably would have been better doing it that way. Definitely when I lift it out, I'll be better that way. So now I'm going to try and put it in here very carefully without spilling it and i am a bit accident prone i've already spilled a cup of tea this morning <laughs> i don't want to spill anything else so right it's in there and uh, i don't know if we can sort of bring you around a bit now i'm not quite sure about the settings because I couldn't find anything that really said so we'll switch it on but i'm going to guess um we'll go about i don't know 150 160 i might do 160 to start with and then we'll do it for 95 minutes 
um, 45 minutes, sorry, not 95 minutes, don't do it 95 minutes, <laughs> 45 minutes. I was thinking then, where have I got 95 from? Right, we'll do it for 45 minutes. There we go. Oh, oh, you know what I've done? I forgot to press air fry and it's flashing grill, so I'm going to have to do that again. Oh, only me. Tell you, I'm in the hour most of the time. Right, 160, and we're going to go to 45 minutes. <laughs> right, we're definitely on air fry, so we'll set it going. So, yeah, that's off now for 45 minutes. We'll see what it's like. It's a bit of guesswork on 160. I've seen people say they bake them on 145, 150, and 160. And I'm, so I'm not sure because this is air frying and it's not bake. I don't really know. But halfway through that, normally if I put it in the cooker, the recipes always say it takes two hours, but they don't. It takes about two and a half to three sometimes to cook it properly so 45 minutes we'll take it out we'll stir it and that should give me an idea of how it's cooking and whether I need to adjust the temperature again after that so we'll leave it at that for now and we'll see what it does when the 45 minutes are up so we'll catch you in a little while so it's just done 45 minutes I'm going to take it out now we'll have a look what it looks like give it a stir and then we'll see how long to put it back in for. So I'm just gonna face it downwards so you can see. There we go, I think that'll be all right. I'll just have to get a tea towel to lift it because it's probably gonna be hot. It's still looking quite runny, but it is steaming. Right, I'll put it on the towel there. Okay. So as you can see, it's got a bit of a skin forming on it. Give it a stir. Oh yeah, that's definitely thickening up slowly. Get all the thing from the edge. I remember when I was a child and my mum used to cook the rice puddings in the oven and she would um, take it out halfway through cooking to give it a stir and any skin that was forming she'd take off and she'd leave it because she loved eating it and we always used to say can we have some skin mum and she says no no you're not old enough for the skin yet <laughs> then when we were a bit older we did get some but i think my mum really liked it so that's doing all right so i think what i'm going to do is keep it at 160 and we'll pop it back in for another 45 minutes and i could get all this skin out or just leave it i don't know if we can fish it i think what i'm going to do is leave it actually so i'll pop it back in um we'll cook it again for another 45 minutes let's just pull that down a bit you can touch in the side that's it put it in the middle so let's get it back in here. I don't think you can actually see me. Can you put it in there? Right. Couldn't see me putting it in there. It's a trouble. Right then, so we'll switch it back on. Um, what was it? 160 I had it on, didn't I? Oh, do you know, it helps if I press air for I'm doing it again. 160 okay and we'll do another 45 minutes i think that would then take it to an hour and a half in total there it's off we'll see what it does so by the time it's done it'll be up 100 145 what am i talking about today <laughs> i'm not with it am i it will be another 45 minutes it'll have been in for an hour and a half if I feel it needs to be checked sooner, I'll pause it and take it out and have a look. But I think I'll just leave it run and see how it goes. Because that's looking fine. And yeah, I can feel it thickening up. So I think another 45 minutes on 160 should do it. So we'll come back and check when it's done again. So it's just finished another 45 minutes. We'll take it out, we'll have a look and we'll see what's happened. 
whether this has worked out or not, I don't know, or whether I might have to adjust it for next time. If you wonder what I'm looking at, it started snowing. <laughs> you see my eyes glancing away, some big chunks coming down. Right, anyway, no mind the snow, let's turn you downwards, bring you downwards so you can see. Don't know if you can see like that. Pull this up. Oh, we've got a good dark cooked skin on this. Look at that. That seems to have done all right. We'll um, just get the spoon into it. We've got a nice skin on it. I've got a bit of splattering around my pan this time. So I'm going to have to clean that. That seems to have set lovely inside. And it's soft. Feels soft. It's set lovely and we've got a lovely skin on it. But I'm going to have to wash the uh, pan thing out. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The only thing I'm concerned about is because we'll sort of have it tea time-ish, then it might set, because it's warm, it will perhaps keep cooking a bit inside and it might set a bit more and be quite hard. Although you can serve it with a bit of cream, put a bit of extra milk or anything like that in it to loosen it back up. That's not an issue. But I'm thinking, would it be better dropping down um, so in the temperature, maybe like 150? Because I've done this sort of 45 minutes on 160, stirred it, and another 45 minutes on 160. So we could perhaps go the bit less time, or given the fact that it's splashed so well around the pan, maybe a little less temperature would work. So maybe if I was to just knock it down to say 150, something like that. So it's all experimental, but it's certainly come out all right and it's cooked and the rice is cooked nice. I'll see if I can lift it out. So it's certainly cooked nice, as you can see. Hold the edges a bit. And you can see the rice there, that uh, it's not shrunk away like sometimes... It does. I was having that problem with my oven. It was starting to, I was having to cook it so long, it was starting to um, shrink and dry up sort of thing, you know. I've got the word for it. <laughs> I'm hopeless with words. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking quite good. It's looking quite nice. Just had to plug it back in. My microphone had come off for some reason. Uh, and then I trod on it and I wondered what I was treading on. So yeah, it's looking good. It's come out well. I'm quite happy with that. Like I say, though, by the time it's cooled down, it might be a little bit firmer. So I might have to add a bit of milk to it or a bit of cream. Tell you what's nice with the rice pudding. You know, you get the tins of um, carnation type of milk, ideal milk. Pouring a bit of that in and stirring around. That's nice. After you've done it, if it's set a bit hard, oh, just a bit of that on. That's nice. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that rice pudding done in the air fryer. I'll definitely do that again. And I, like I say, I'm going to mess a bit with the temperatures and everything. Maybe knock it down a little bit to see what it does. Because after all, if you knock it down too far and it's not quite cooked, you can always leave it in a little bit longer, put it back on for a bit and, you know, go till it's right. So yeah, that's what I did. I did it on 160 and it took an hour and an hour, an hour and a an half, <laughs> hour and a half. Oh gosh, today's terrible. Hour and a half <laughs> to cook. And normally in the cooker, it'll take about, well, the recipe say two, but normally it takes about two and a half to three. And then it shrunk down a bit, you know, trying to get it right. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So now that's it. I don't know if I'll come back later in the week. We shall see what's happening and what we're doing. Um, if I don't, it'll be the beginning of next week, Monday or Tuesday, and I'll come back with a homeschool video. Or I may come back before then with something. So if you press the notification bell button, whatever it is, <laughs> then you'll know when I'm back. So thank you for watching. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. And I love having you here. Please comment down below. I love to have a chat with everybody and see what you do in your air fryers or if you follow me for homeschooling, you know, how things go with that. 
so yeah definitely have a chat with me down below so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye